In this video, I will show you how you can add and manage users in Google Analytics. But before we go into the video, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. That's the only way I can keep bringing you these videos. So if you're ready, let's dive in. In Google Analytics, go to the admin panel. Here you have the ability to add and manage users at the account level, property level, or the view level. Keep in mind, if you are in Google Analytics 4, then there won't be any view panel because Google Analytics 4 only has account and property. However, Universal Analytics has account, property, and view. Under each of these, you will see access management links. So here it is, account access management, property access management, and view access management. This is where you can add and manage users and the permissions they have. I am going to show you the process at the account level. The same process applies to property as well as view. So let's go ahead and click on account access management. On this screen, you will see all the users that have permission to this account. You have the name of the user, email, and the permission this user has. By clicking on these three dots, you will be able to edit these permissions. We'll go over that in a minute. To add a new user to the account, click on plus and click on add user. And this is where you'll need to provide email address of the user and give them appropriate permissions. Once done, click on add and the user will be added. As I mentioned before, I will go over these permissions in a minute. Let's get out of this, click on X, and here are the existing users. Click on these three dots to manage a particular user and click on view users account details. On this screen, click on edit, and here is where you can edit the permissions that this user has. When you're managing a user at the account level, you'll also see a bunch of Google Analytics properties listed here. These are the properties that are part of this account. And you'll see this user's permissions for each individual property. To edit the permissions at the property level, you can click here and then change the permissions. Or you can go to the property panel in the admin page and change it from there. Since you are setting the permissions at the property level, you will also see any views that this property has. In this case, there is only one view, but if there were more, they'll show up here. And next to each view, the permissions for this user for that view are listed here. Clicking on it will take you to a screen where you can manage the permissions for this user for this particular view. You'll also notice that many of the permissions are listed as inherited. Inherited means they are being inherited from a higher level permission. Since we are in the view, these permissions seem to be coming from property. And if I close this and go back to property, they are again listed inherited here. That means they are coming from the account. If the permissions are not inherited, then you can go ahead and set them directly here. Now I'm going to go and talk about the types of permissions that are listed here. There are four levels of user permissions in Google Analytics. Manage users, edit, collaborate, and read and analyze. So let's take a look and see what these permissions mean. Manage users permission allows the user to add and delete other users as well as assign permissions to them. Typically, one or two people in your organization will be responsible for managing the users. So when auditing, make sure this permission is given to select few users. Edit permission. A person with edit permission can perform administrative and report related functions such as adding, editing, deleting an account, properties, views, filters, goals, etc. and see the report data. Edit permission is required at the account level to create filters. However, if the person is only applying the filters, then they need edit permissions at the view level. If you need to link any kind of accounts to Google Analytics like AdWords, Optimize, etc., then you will also need edit access at the property level. 
just like manage user permissions, edit permissions should also be granted to very few people in the organization. Collaborate permissions. A person with collaborate permission can create, edit, delete, and share personal assets. They can make changes to the assets that have been shared with them by others. These assets include attribution models, channel groupings, conversion segments, custom reports, dashboards, segments, and unsampled reports. This permission is generally granted to people who work in collaboration with others in the organizations. So in an organization, there could be a lot of people who have these collaborate permissions. Read and analyze permissions. Users with read and analyze permissions can see reports and configuration data. They can manipulate data within reports, like by applying a table filter, adding a secondary dimension, creating a segment, etc. They can create personal assets and share them with others, and also see the shared assets. They are reading and analyzing. However, they cannot collaborate on shared assets, so they cannot edit it. This permission is granted to those who only need to see the data. These could be people higher up in the organization chain. All they need to see is the performance of a marketing campaign, website, etc. However, they do not need to make any changes. Just like Collaborate, a lot of people in your organization can have read and analyze permissions. You can assign user permission at the account property and view levels. As I mentioned before, any permission that is given at the account level trickles down to properties and views. Any permissions that are given at the view level do not trickle up. Keep in mind, as you progress down the hierarchy, you can give more permission but not fewer. For example, if a user has read and analyze permission at the account level, you can also grant edit permission at property or view level. But if a user has edit permission at the account level, you cannot limit that permission to just read and analyze at the property or the view level. 